Doesn't matter if it's a Rottweiler or a Pitbull, a Chihuahua or a Poodle. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, internationally acclaimed dog whisperer Caesar Milan will be telling us that there are no good or bad dog breeds, only bad trainers. Why a dog in a farm behaves better than a dog in a city? Because a dog in the city is allowed to come into intimate space day one, and a dog and a fawn have to earn the right to be in intimate space. So it makes them very respectful, right? So it's public space, social space, intimate space. People in the city bring the dog into the bed the first day. So the dog is not using common sense to earn this proximity. Homeless people, they have no house, no banking account. They smell pretty bad most of the time, right? But if you see them walking, dog is in the back, no leash. So in LA, you know, in Venice Beach, California, nine out of 10 homeless people have pit bulls. And you never hear that one of those dogs attacks somebody. The pit bull that attack has a house. So the dog that has a house with food every single day becomes unstable. The dog that has no food, but has a good pack leader and travels every day, lives a balanced life. The dogs that I can help is the one that have neurological problems. That's why we launch a campaign in America uh, not to allow puppy meals, because they have no ethics. They're just breeding dogs regardless, and that, that's just money, you know? And breeders, good breeders, they have ethics. They only breed good genes, and it's not a lot of those human beings, you see? It? So those are the only ones that I can help, but 99% of the, of the cases that I work with are psychological, which is great news.